Hey, what's up? It's Owen Leeper here. I'm going to talk about a few of the steps I take uh, before I hit cliffs. Uh, this is great whether you're looking to hit a five footer or whether to step it up to like a 30 footer. So the first step is find a good cliff. Uh, key things I look for is a clean takeoff, a nice in run on the above it, as well as a long, steep, hopefully deep powder landing. Uh, so we have this one right here. As you can see, it starts small on the right and then it moves bigger all the way to the left, uh, which is perfect for progressing. From down here, it looks a whole lot smaller. Um, it's gonna change when you're standing on top because I'm six feet tall, and if I'm standing on the edge of the cliff, it's gonna look six feet higher. But you have to remember, your skis are gonna hit first, and it's never as big as it looks. First thing I do is check the depth of the snow. You should have a pretty good idea if it snowed that night, if you got 10 inches or the wind blew it in, but it's always a good idea to go in and probe the landing, uh, especially on the bigger drops. So just pushing in handle first so it goes far. Um, you can kind of see right there it hits that hard layer. Um, that's pretty good. We got uh, about 20 inches or so, and that's plenty deep enough to hit like a uh, five to 20 footer if you're comfortable with that. So now that we've picked our cliff, we're up on top. We have a uh, good in run. Um, we're gonna figure out uh, where we want to land. So what I usually do is I'll come to the edge of the cliff, use my ski pole and set exactly where I wanna take off. So on this one, we decided that the snow is a little bit deeper over to the left. Uh, so I'm just gonna make a little mark that I'm gonna follow when I come to take off. Like anything else is start small. Uh, the best thing you can do is in the resort is just jump off moguls, jump off little tiny rocks, start at one foot, just get used to that. Step up three feet, five feet, 10 feet. This one we have here is kind of a mid-sized range, about 15 feet. And I like to go all the way up to about 85, 90 feet. So as an intro cliff, I would say start going between five and 10 miles an hour. You don't need to be going super fast. Uh, but it does help you to um, continue off the cliff, land, and keep skiing rather than just fall off and plop. The most important part here is the cliff I'm taking off has a takeoff like this and the landing is a little bit steeper. So the most important thing is here is the pop. Same as uh, doing a backflip or hitting park jumps is you need to pop to get your weight forward from the takeoff to match the landing. So what I like to do is set my knees about shoulder width, a little bit bent, and right as I take off, you're just gonna extend your legs, and that little bit of motion is the pop. Uh, what you're trying to do there is pop your weight forward. Uh, so you're going from either a uphill, a flat, or even a slightly downward takeoff, and you're trying to land matching the transition. So you pop your weight forward, so when you take off, your weight goes forward, and you land perfectly parallel to the slope. Depending on snow conditions, you do need to adjust that a little bit. If it's three feet deep, and you're gonna have to land a little bit back seat, otherwise you're just gonna dig in and tomahawk forward. If it's like a terrain park jump or a hard groomer or something like that, you're gonna land more exactly parallel to the slope. After you pop off the cliff, bring your hands forward. That'll help keep your weight centered over your skis. And as you come down to land, extend your legs and get ready to absorb the impact with your knees. So there you have it. Those are the steps that I use, uh, whether you're looking to hit a five footer or a 25 footer. Uh, important thing is uh, start small, work your way up, find a good sized cliff, uh, check out the landing, check out the takeoff. And the most important thing is the pop. Um, you're trying to match the transition to the landing. Um, if you get all those things, you should be landing, skiing away with speed, and cheersing your friends at the bottom. Um, once you have that, then head back up, get a little more speed, or even find a bigger cliff, and uh, just keep going from there.